What's up guys, I'm back like I never left in this video. We're gonna be going over the top stocks to watch for this week. We're gonna go over the massive stocks that are gonna be reporting earnings. I'm also gonna go over and talk about the major stocks sell off that we've been experiencing specifically and companies like Palantir, Nano Dimensions, BNGO, and etc. We're gonna go over exactly the portfolio, the massive percentage of losses and go over what we're gonna be doing specifically about this company. So I'm gonna cover all that's important in this video coming up. Now before we get into the video, I really appreciate if you hit the like button. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop it in the comment section below. So as you can see over here, we have you know, the overall stock market that slightly sold off to the downside. So in April, the overall stock market has been hitting all time highs back to back for several days, but today was the day that they had a significant sell-off in some sectors, specifically the semiconductor stocks. You have Nvidia stock down 3%, you know, we have Tesla down 3% also, and it was really just a minor pullback overall for other stocks like Microsoft, some of the financial stocks. So as I mentioned, you know, the overall stock market was hitting all-time highs throughout April. As you can see, as we broke out of the $400 mark, which is definitely a psychological point, we never looked back. We went all the way to $417, and now we have, we're sitting at around $415. So when you look at exactly this specific price action compared to some of the stocks that we talked about, you know, I'm gonna go over right now to the portfolio, you know, we're up 11% for the, you know, for the year so far. But when you look at the high growth speculative stocks, we're down 32%. So I'm going to go over and break down exactly, you know, some of the holdings that, that we're, some of the stocks that we're holding in this specific, you know, slice. And when you look at it and see it, we're down 32%. You know, we're holding companies in this specific portion of our portfolio, companies like Neo, which is down 40%. You know, we have Open Door, which is down 20%. You know, Palantir down 29%. Just to, to just remind you, you know, we started opening positions on these stocks, you know, right at the beginning of the year because it was a 2021. This was a brand new portfolio. So we started building and adding to this position. So at that point in time, you know, the stock market was hot for this specific stocks, this high growth speculative company. So as you can see over here right now, it's not looking hot for them right now. And we have, you know, uh, Golden Nugget down 12%, Butterfly down 31%. This is saying 91%, but it's just a mistake because once the merger happened for ChargePoint, it really did not update it for ML Finance. But when you when you look at MP Material, we're down 40%, you know, Plug Power 46%, you know, DraftKings down 6%. Halion down 72%. Now, this is the one that is really down massively. We have a Fastly down 12%, Twitter 12%, Social Capital, IPOE. This is also going to be a merger doing pretty soon. 23%, Clean Spark 39%, Nano Dimensions 42 BNGO down 50%, you know, Workhorse stock down 55%. So the majority of the stocks are down between 20% to 50%. So that is a bear territory for these high growth speculative companies. So money is definitely flowing away from these high growth speculative companies and moving to another part, another sector, another market like the cryptocurrency. You know, we have, you know, recently have Dogecoin that hit multi-billion dollar market cap. Now it's even worth more than Palantir, you know, Kroger and etc because money is flowing towards that a lot of retail investors are transferring from these high speculative companies to you know very speculative cryptocurrencies and etc that's why we're seeing this massive sell-off that's been happening so a lot of people are also speculating that a lot of these companies like nndm you know we're down you know more than 50 percent on and etc people are saying that it's like a pump and dump and etc but when you look at it exactly these speculative stocks are selling up across the board like even when you look at palantir stock that's more of a conservative not speculative stock when you look at it it's still sold off a lot even though it had a, a fantastic you know catalyst the demo day it really did not help it that much but when you look at the other part of our portfolio that we have you know travel you have energy financials 
retail, you know, they're doing pretty well, especially the retail one. We're actually, we're down at the beginning of the year, down like around 3% and it rallied up now to sitting at 11%. So that was really fantastic to see, you know, companies like Lowe's, uh, companies like Home Depot are the ones that are doing pretty, pretty well. I made a video about it, you know, especially before Easter came out to look out for these retail stocks. So there is going to be a rally, Easter rally that can happen to boost up these specific type of stocks, you know, so when you look at the performance of the overall stock market, as I mentioned, it's been hitting all time highs since, you know, uh, since April came out. So it was up 12.59%. And even though we're holding, you know, these companies are speculative, they've been aggressively selling off to the downside more than, you know, 20 to 50%, you know, we're still relatively closer to the return of the overall stock market as it's hitting all time high. So we're sitting at 11.48%. So it's relatively not that bad. So moving forward for these high growth speculative plays, we're still just gonna be holding them, see exactly if money is gonna be flowing back into it. And if our losses just continues to occur, it occur, goes past, you know, to 40%, 50%. So I definitely start to scale out of those spe speculative companies that are just aggressively just selling off the downside and there's no hope of return for them. So that is going to be the game plan moving forward. But I highly believe that there's going to be money coming back into these companies. You know, this is a long term hold high conviction stocks that are in our portfolios like Tesla and Neo are still going to be holding them for a while. But there's still some other speculative stocks that I can definitely cut for a loss to buy into those high conviction place that we're holding right now. So that is going to be the game plan moving forward. And when you look at exactly the overall stock market, as, as I mentioned, you know, we're hitting all time highs. We have a slight pullback today. And overall, if we're just not trailing a lot by the overall stock market performance, we're holding, we're doing pretty, pretty good. So your cash balance of available around $527. So we can definitely scoop up some more shares of some of the stocks if they continue to sell, especially for neo stock so now let's go over and look at exactly the top stocks that are going to be reporting earnings for this upcoming week and these going to be the major stocks to watch for this week you know so we have netflix that is going to be reporting earnings tomorrow after the market close before the market open we have johnson and johnson though so that's going to be pretty huge especially uh, this is going to be one of the companies that's been producing vaccines. You know, unfortunately, right now their vaccines are blocked because there are some issues that happen with blood cloth and etc. So we'll see what they're going to be saying in their earnings reports. You have the P&J, you have Abbott Labs. Of course, that's going to be one of the companies that definitely help with fighting the pandemic, especially providing the testing kits. And also for Wednesday, when you look at before the market open, we have Verizon, you have NASDAQ. After the market close, we have Chipotle and Discovery. On Tuesday, we have another company we need to definitely watch out for, which is going to be Snapchat. And before the market open, we have AT&T. And we have also Intel after the market close. And you look at for Friday, we have uh, before the market open, we have American Express. It's going to be the company to definitely watch out for. So if you definitely want to speculate in these companies in the short term, definitely avoid you know, using options, the ideal thing to do is definitely to buy into the shares. If you believe the stock price is going to go up or down, that's going to be the safest way to play this. But if you get involved in the options, you know, there's going to be a massive issues with the time with with the IV crush and etc. That can definitely affect these uh, options prices. So definitely be careful on that one. Overall, we don't have any massive economic reports that is coming out for tomorrow. I'm going to be making another video about Dogecoin, how to buy Dogecoin on Webull. I'm going to be making a video later on, but uh, I'll catch you guys on another video. Make sure you manage your risk and be very, very careful, especially if you decide to really go heavy on these massive dips that we're experiencing on these specific sectors. So make sure you manage this. If you want to, you know, get free stocks, free Bitcoin, check out the links in the description box below. But I catch you guys on another video later on. Let's get it. Have a wonderful night. Mm -hmm.